Hello. So, I kept feeling like I'm supposed to make a video. I'm supposed to say something. I'm supposed to say something. It's been a long time and I haven't felt very comfortable with it. And I, I really didn't feel comfortable in the beginning doing this. But I just know that I have I've found something and I, I want to share it. I want so much for others to understand that it's not about this place that it really is like not of this kingdom that there is something more and so i i thought maybe if i if i had the courage to make a video to share about my own life maybe it would help and then i kind of didn't have much to say and don't feel like i had much help but anyhow it's on me real bad and and uh i prayed and uh, it came to me it came to me I, uh, I had a tire and uh, it, it busted. It's funny, I just bought all these tires and I was really irritated about the thing too. And um, so I had to go to the shop. Well, the thing is, I have for months and months and months in this car been dealing with rattling, rattling. And uh, every time I accelerate and try to get to my destination a little faster, it rattle even louder. So distracting that I couldn't even hear my music most of the time. I, uh, my thoughts is just this freaking rattle and, and, and even if I stopped it was like still just rattling and rattling and you know distracting me kind of like the world right now it's like I'm on my I'm trying to be on my journey here I know my path and I know that it's not of this world anymore I'm done with this place and now that I've found out everything I found out and maybe you have your own journey because I can't tell you what's going to be your truth and if I, it, it won't it doesn't work that way you got to figure it out in the You'll hear something and the truth will stand. Even if everything about it agitates you, your truth will be there. And you'll be like, oh my God, I was wrong. I was wrong. Oh my gosh, I mean. So then you start to say, you know what? I don't want this and I don't want that. And I'm, I'm done with this and I'm done with that. And uh, you start to figure out who you are. Minus, uh, you know, for me, it was like, I'm an American. I live here. I'm in, you know, this cast I'm you know I worked in finance I went there to college whatever all that out it goes out of it and I'm left with what's left is what I take to the father that's me uh, that's what I bring to the altar and I'm like you know what this is what's left and with all that other crap I was so unhappy anyhow half the time I just want to jump off a freaking bridge anyhow this place it's temporary and everybody right now is ready to to fight for it. What are you fighting for? I mean, if you're calling yourself a Christian, his father forgive them. They know what not what they do. It's horrible to do. I know. I I man, it's agitating. But it's another distraction. Were I the enemy? It's perfect. Let's set it up. It's almost like a perfect theater. Well, this didn't work. Let's try let's try that. Let's have that rattle a little louder. Let's have it rattle over here too. My car's rattling so much. I was getting distracted, distracted. I was losing my peace. I was losing my peace. I was wanting to drive sideways a little bit just so I didn't hear that rattle. I went today to get my car fixed, to get my tire fixed. And I got the tire fixed and they said, we fixed your rattle. It was a heat shield. It just needed to be, you know, tweaked. And I'm like, oh, heat shield? Oh, that makes perfect sense. A heat shield. Like we're in the fire, man. We're in the fire. We're in the uh, the purifier here. We're getting the squeeze on. It's the enemy. Time is short. Distract us. So he can keep us. He wants his friends, man. He wants you to stay and be his friend. I'm gonna lie, gonna say everything. It's father of the lie. Don't buy it. This place is passing. This is Christ's words, it's passing. Quit, quit, quit going into Old Testament scriptures and saying, you oh, know, the sword, you know, he, and he gave his disciples a sword. And, you know, the, Christ said, forgive your, pray for your enemy. He said to love your enemy. He said, if they steal from you, I mean, like, if they burn your city down, if they if they take my house, I'm supposed to offer my furniture. That's what Christ is saying, man. This is hard stuff. You know what? And if I was, if I was about, about this kingdom, if I was invested here, which I've 
like I said, that distraction, that rattle lately, man, I'm like, ugh, ugh. Because they've taught me everything opposite of Christ. They've taught me, hey, you got a duty. Hey, everybody died for your freedom. Guilt. You know what? That's not of the Father. It's not of Christ. What else they teach me? Confidence. Ego. What's another one? Uh, ambition. There's a beautiful euphemism for greed. Greed. So into this place. So into this system. Don't so into fellow man. Don't offer your cloak after they steal your shirt. Actually so into man. Don't don't think about your neighbor. Even though you see them out there, they're like a thousand years old raking. Don't take the time to help. Not that my neighbor's a thousand years old. Actually, they, they have all these power tools. I'm the one out here dying. I wish someone would come help me. Christians, we have to decide something. Either we're not of this world, this is not our kingdom, or we're going to sow into this place, and we're going to be in churches filled with people going, let's go, Brandon. Shame. Shame. In my father's house. Like a pep rally. For what? Is this our kingdom? Not of this kingdom. You gonna be mad at me for not picking a side? For loving my neighbor? Not answering to here anymore. Answering to there. That's all. I can't believe I said that. I hope I have the courage to post it. And, and I'm from like a Mayflower family, guys. You wouldn't get more patriotic, redhead, freckle face. Girl Scout cookie selling. It's a school mascot. I'm, I was all of this. But I know now. I've read the words of Christ that they take 90% of his words out. And they teach us these things. And they, they, they tie together and they say, you're Judeo-Christian. You know what? Spare the rod, spoil the child? Would Christ pick up a rod? Am I supposed to pick up a rod and whack my child? How's that helped? I got beat. It didn't help. Scared me. Made me work. Guys, I don't know. All I know is... All I know is everything's wrong. And... I mean, if somebody comes into my house and starts hurting me or my kids in the moment. I listen to Jacob Israel a lot. Like him. I listen to Derek Global Lipness a lot. I like him too. They might say things that I may not completely agree with. Uh, but they're, they're talking about peace. And... Uh, they made me at least open my eyes enough to say, you know what, I'm going to go read it for myself. I'm going to check it out on my own. And when I did, I realized, man, I can't call myself a Christian and, and think like this. I just can't. Nope. That's all. My rattle got fixed. It got tightened up. My heat shield. And how'd I do it? I went back to the Word. I reread a little bit. I remembered that Samaritan story. The Samaritans were like not even, they didn't even get along with them. And uh, said, you know, the guy went and helped him. I think they were like, I don't know, they didn't, they didn't like each other. Don't pick a side. They're not going to let us not pick a side without being a problem, I think, pretty soon. They're like, if you're not with me, you know, then you're with them. And that's not true. I don't know enough about any of it. But I do know Christ's words. I know when I hear it. I know when I hear the Native American Indians talking about the Father Spirit of Peace. Buddha Spirit of Peace. I know when I hear the Christ. And it's always about the love. The Father's love. Love, love, love. Keep your crown. Keep your crown.
Don't get tricked in this place. Anyhow. The squeeze is on. It hurts. The rattle's loud. Batten down your heat shields. I love you guys. Bye.